Beasley outside. To the paint. Here's Moreland. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. This is when the defenders really have to protect the basket. You need to be in sync as a unit defensively. Here's Anthony, and count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. Key buckets, and we know he delivers down the stretch. Aaron Oflala, he's checked in for New York. The Kings trail by three. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Persingas. Knocks down the three ball. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. Here's Smart. No good. Good D by Lopez. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Now here's Anthony. Here's the three. A follow. No good. Here's Granger, and it's denied. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Calderon kicks to Aflalo. Pass to Anthony. It's deflected. It's rebounded by Porzingis. The Knicks leading by six. A follow outside. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Can't get it to go. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Ten points for... Beasley. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. The drive by Anthony. Rebound by the Kings. And slam dunk by Smart. Hang time on that rim. Puts a little whipped cream on that angel food cake there. <laughs> it's a tight ball game, and those displays of strength, Clark, can get one team rolling. Agreed. And also the other on its heels. Let's see how this one turns out. Lopez, no luck. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. The pass to Beast. Sacramento moving it around. On the wing, Granger. With the fadeaway. Excellent D there from a follow. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Stolen by Granger. And he slams it one-handed. And hey guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Now, here's Calderon. Marcus Smart missing that last shot. Here's Anthony. Takes it off the glass. Anthony's got five points now in the quarter. What a top-notch game he's had. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. And there's the feed to Smart from downtown. It's rebounded by New York. Persingas has got nine rebounds now tonight. From the low block, no good off the back of the rim. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And 
Slam dunk by Smart. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. Absolutely. I mean, six lead changes here so far. Exciting yeah. stuff. And, guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. And the Knicks with possession here. The Kings getting the bucket. Now, here's Calderon. Defense is right there. Just five on the clock. And here's Anthony for three. Rebound by the Kings. Moreland's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. They set the pick. An easy layup after coming off the pick. And now a three-point Kings lead. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep hitting the ball in the paint like this. Now here's Calderon. Pass to Persingas. Count the basket and the... is on Beasley. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. That's a completely new group on the floor for the Kings. That free throw good from Porzingis. I mean, the Knicks were bad last year, and it became evident early on as the season grew older, more and more of their national coverage games were being pulled. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Anthony up on top. He's covered by Kid Gilchrist. And, and doesn't he just have a nose, a, a knack for the basketball? He is by far their best rebounder. Well, he has been today, no doubt about that. His effort's been unbelievable. A foul, though, dishes to Anthony. Now, here's Calderon. Guarded by McLemore. And now Randall pushing it up and no one back to stop him. The big dunk at the end of the break. You might not have expected him to go for the steal there, but boy, oh boy, did it ever work out for him. Yeah, and I love that. I mean, at this stage of a tight game, all too often teams play not to lose, and they wouldn't be in the lead right now if he hadn't taken a chance there. Down low. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> Here's Anthony following the basket by Julius Randle. Kid Gilchrist with the steal. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. And the dunk by McLemore. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Here is Calderon after the Kings pick up two. To the wing right side. The drive by Anthony. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. That's exactly how it should be done. Get the bump, concentrate on the shot, and you'll get the bucket too. The Knicks making a switch here. Seraphins checked in. Now, here is Russell. Three-pointer, and the shot is good. Russell's got the lead up to six now for the Kings. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. And here's Calderon. They set the pick. Lock at six. Down low. 
And the layup's good off the glass. Persingas has got 11 in the second half. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Looking to get back on track here. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Kings. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. They haven't wasted time getting the ball up the court tonight either, and it's resulted in a lot of fast break points. It's not winning basketball when you're attempting shots like that. Yeah, come on now. You got to remember it's a team game. He's got four teammates out there with him. I don't think he needs to try to do it all by himself like that. And they double up Russell. Up top, Kid Gilchrist. The Kings need to get off a shot here. And there's the three-second violation. Next trail by seven. Outside Anthony. 158 left in the fourth quarter. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. What a great game for Anthony in this one. He has 35 points, and he's hit four from beyond the arc. A weapon with those three-point shots. You said it. His long-range jumpers are having a deadly effect. And both free throws good for Anthony. He's been to the line here more than in the first. I thought he was a bit tentative in that first, but I like the aggressiveness he's showing here now. Out left to the wing. Here's Randall. It's hauled in by Persingas. Persingas has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Calderon passes to Anthony. From eight. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Anthony's got 39. And, and you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them, trying to will this team to victory. Here's Russell. It's stolen. Now here's Calderon, guarded by McLemore. And Aflalo kicks to Serafin. Anthony drives in. Oh, and there's the one-handed Fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. I tell you what, I like that, though, guys. Some coaches might not want you to make a play like that, but I tell you what, when you got the skills like that, I say go for it. They don't get any bigger than that basket. They needed it, Greg, and he gave it to them. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're down by three. 54 seconds left in the game. And let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Derek Fisher was giving to his team. He laid out the X's and O's and told them, we're still alive, guys. We've just got to work together, trust each other, and play our backsides off. Kevin, we'll see if they've got enough in the tank to get over the top. Thanks, Doris. Out to the wing. Outside, Russell. Five on the clock. From past the arc. It's rebounded by New York. Now you need every basket you can get. Greg, I think they're still alive here, but they better execute every trip down the floor from here on out. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Anthony kicks to Golderon. stolen by Russell. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Oh! Hey, really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coast. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead. So the Kings win it. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, and they got pushed 
down the stretch, but they did what they needed to do and held their ground when it mattered most and got the W. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. Now we send you to...